the Golf Psych Mental Pre-Shot Routine. Steve Variato of the Senior PGA Tour will demonstrate his own personal pre-shot routine. He's doing calculations, checking his yardage, checking the wind, deciding on how he wants to play the shot. This is a tee shot. Part of Steve's routine is always to throw some grass, last check on what he's attempting to do. And he tees the ball. And now he's visualizing the shot he intends to play. As he sets up to the ball, you'll notice that he waggles, he lifts the club. He's feeling with that waggle the shot he's about to play. There's no lost time standing over the ball or checking setup or anything else. Steve is not thinking about his mechanics. Again, the same tee shot. Steve is committed to his choices. He has his club. He knows what he wants to do. And now it's simply a matter of playing the shot he's decided on. Behind the ball, he'll visualize the ball flying towards the targets that he's chosen. Once he's seen the shot, he then sets up to the ball. He moves the club, he settles in, he feels good about what he's going to do. He can feel himself hit the ball, and then he goes. It's very helpful to have a feel type thought to use to swing the club, both in your rehearsal and in the actual swing. A typical feel thought might be something like smooth back, smooth through, or perhaps just the word tempo. This feel thought can vary from round to round, but you should try to keep the same feel thought the whole way through the round. The feel thought is not a mechanical swing key. Steve played those tee shots very nicely great rhythm and tempo, very committed. This is an approach shot. Steve is using a wedge. He's on a side hill lie with the ball below his feet. He has about 110 yards. And he's made up his mind, he's seen the shot, and now he's using his feel thought and playing the shot. The same approach shot from a different angle. Again, calculations followed by commitment. The wind is what he expected. Now he sees the shot, and as he's walking into it, he's still seeing it. And then he sets up, lines up to his intermediate target, sees the ultimate target, and then with his feel thought, plays the shot. The same approach shot from behind the flag. Steve moves into the shot confidently. You notice he's continually moving. He never really comes to a full stop. And when he's ready, he uses that feel thought, and he goes. He trusts it. He lets it go. He doesn't try to control it, and he gets a great result. The mental routine for putting is just a little bit different. You already know which club you want to use. So now it's a matter of determining the line and speed of the putt. The ones that you think are right. You'll notice that Steve reads his putt 360 degrees from both sides of the hole. This helps Steve make up his mind, make sure he's got all the information, and be confident in his calculation step. 
again, calculations completed by commitment. He sees the putt, and then he feels the putt, and he simply rolls the ball. You'll notice no great exclamation after the putt, no great emotional response. The keys here are not that he's marked the ball or even walked around the putt 360 degrees. The keys are the fact that Steve is meeting the principles of the mental routine. That is, collect all the variables, the information, make your decision, commit to that decision, trust it, and then see the shot, feel the shot, and play the shot. Concerns about alignment, posture, grip, or any swing key will be disruptive. Trust it and roll the ball. Nice birdie, Steve.